Now that all the official benchmarks for the GTX 1080 and GTX 1070 have dropped from actual reviewers, which one should you buy? Let's delve into that. Let's roll that intro. So now that all the reviewers got their hands on the GTX 1080 and 1070, all the benchmarks are out and it seems like these graphics cards are living up to the hype that Nvidia has brought to them. So the GTX 1080 is no joke, but would you go with that? Or would you go to with its little brother, the GTX 1070, which seems to be destroying the 980 Ti by a good, by a good six or so FPS improvement in 4K and a little bit better in 1080p. So. Should you pick up a GTX 1070 or a GTX 1080? My personal opinion on the matter is I would go with a 1070 mainly for price to performance ratio. Now, if you're picking up a Founders Edition at around a $450 price range, I really do not recommend it. I would wait for board partners to come out with their own models like ASUS, Gigabyte, uh, EBGA, wait for them to drop their versions of the card because that will bring you the most price of performance at around a price range of $379 if you're able to pick one up. Because if you want for $379, you're getting a card that's literally half the price of a 980 Ti and performs a good 4% better than the 980 Ti does. And that's kind of ridiculous in reality because 980 Ti is still a really good card. And beforehand, I was about to pick up a used 980 Ti from a guy. I was going to trade on my old iPad Air because I really didn't want to. And then I saw the 1070 and I really thought back and I was like, wow, the 1070 is actually a better value now. The 980 Ti, people are still trying to price it at around $500 on eBay and Craigslist. Because they know once that 1070 is officially released, that card's going to plummet and it's going to be around the $300 price range on the used market. So, I mean, if you're in the market for a graphics card and you want something used, you could probably get a 980 Ti for around 270 280 if people are going to be reasonable. So, I mean, used people out there, you're going to understand. Your 980 Ti that you bought just recently, maybe even a couple months ago for around $500, $600, it's gonna be worth close to around 280 bucks now with this whole uh, 1070 coming out because your card is not the greatest for price performance anymore and it's getting beat out by the second little brother of the lineup, which is kind of crazy, but it makes sense. Nvidia put all this money into these graphics cards and they're getting the output right now. So really, what card do I do recommend? I mainly recommend you get the 1070 and like all those YouTubers out there because it's the best value for your money. 1080 is still a great value for your money, but the 1070 offers something that it, the 1080 just can't do. A price tag of $379 compared to whatever it's gonna be for the 1080, around 600 bucks, I believe, off the top of my head. So I'm not really sure where the value is in that, but if you really want a 1080, go for it. It's gonna be a beastly card. It's gonna be the best card that's on the market right now. But if you wanna step down and you just wanna be a little bit more chill and just, go with the little brother to 1070, you are not making a wrong decision at all. Don't think you're making a, a sacrifice because the 1070 is gonna max out any game you throw at it. It'll play really well on the latest AAA titles, especially if you're gaming at 1080p and 1440p, it's a perfect card for that. 4K, it's gonna be all right if you can survive at 30 FPS or 40 FPS, but if you're gonna be playing on 1080p display, like I have right here, a 950 1080p display, a GTX 1070 actually might be an awesome upgrade. It'll be something that will suffice you for the long run until you upgrade your displays to 4K or a little bit higher. So for 1440p and 1080p gamers, I recommend you pick up the GTX 1070. For people who want the most they can out of their 4K displays, save up a little bit of money and drop the money on the GTX 1080 because you know what? You already dropped all that money on a 4K monitor. You really shouldn't waste the 4K pixels you have in front of you. So I recommend picking up a GTX 1080. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, leave a like, leave a dislike. If you dislike the video, leave a like if you like the video. That's what I'm really meant to say. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is one of those videos that I will upload based on a timely matter because you know the new schedule we have is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But I'm gonna be uploading this on a Tuesday because it's timely and it, it, it falls in line with what's going on in the news. So 
Expect another video on Wednesday and another video on Friday, maybe a video on Thursday if something else goes down. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this little talk video. I just want to reach out to you all and give you my opinion on the 1070 and 1080 after all the official benchmarks have been released. And I'm really excited to see where the graphics card community is going to go from here, especially in the used market. I want to see what kind of stuff we can pick up for our builds. So thank you guys again for watching this video. Peace out.